All right, so uh, we're pretty sure the motor at 72 volts will spin at about 2,000 RPM. Under load. Under load. Wild, so. It would actually keep going faster and faster and fast. That's the fun thing with series motors. If you <laughs> if you apply a voltage to them and there's no load, they will actually what's called running away, and they'll just continue to accelerate until they explode. Which sounds pretty fun, but we only have the one motor, so we don't really want to want to do that unfortunately. Anyways, so we have 2000 RPM and we have all the gear ratios and the size of the tire so we can do some quick calculations and find out how fast this guy could go. Hundred eleven kilometers per hour. Eh, that's, that's, that's pretty fast. 31 meters a second. All right, time to buy some parts. So we'd weld this adapter onto the sprocket. This would attach to the motor and it would be welded in place. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we would drill and tap a bolt pattern onto here and then we could buy different size sprockets. But then you need to buy one of these for each sprocket. Yep. How much are they? Yeah, only six bucks. Okay. <laughs> I was in, yeah, and that's probably an easy way to do it. So yeah, we, we this is permanently attached to the motor, and then, yeah. You just build up your sprockets with that. They'll always be centered too, so you don't have any oscillate. This one. Number 40 on sale. Oh, perfect. How much do we want? 100 10 feet? 100 feet? 100 feet. You can always find stuff to do with chain. Twenty feet of size number forty chain, a sprocket adapter, a thirty-six tooth gear, a twenty tooth gear for super acceleration. Maybe I'll have a And no, yes, pillow block bearings, and electrical quick connects. That's it for the small stuff. Some weldable hinges. These are going to be used to uh, mount to the motor so we can have a tensioning system. Some half inch threaded rods with assorted nuts. Also going to be used for the tensioning system. Alright, let's do this.